we created the Africa Science Week to have fun activities for all ages. Our main target is to make science interesting. And how do you make science interesting? You show the relationship between physics and real life activities. You show the relationship between chemistry and blowing up a volcano. You show the relationship between technology and solving our challenges on the continent. The Women in Science Breakfast for this year coincided with the Africa Science Week themed Open Science Leaving No One Behind. This is an annual event championed by the National Council for Science and Technology in collaboration with the Next Ancient Forum, the African Institution of Mathematical Sciences, and the Rwanda Association of Women in Science and Engineering, Grawis. Let's not limit ourselves to advancing technology by excluding women from taking part, because in reality, they are a part of this puzzle, which without we will never be complete. And with their inclusion in ICT, maybe then our multiplication table will not stop at the possibility of 12, but infinity. Key component of our, of our program is something called the industry visits. And through industry visits, what we're supposed to do is to take the students and the teachers to actual industries within our country to help them identify how the specific science concepts that they learn every day are actually applied in producing everyday products that we use for our day-to-day -day living. Before we do a competition, we, ha we had a, a school visit in different industries. I visited Torirga industry. Me, in my future, I would like to become a doctor. A good doctor must be good in chemistry and biology. They mix many chemicals to make that plastic sheet. Those chemicals are involved in chemistry. In biology, when they were making plastic sheets, they used many chemicals. And those chemicals, when they are mixing them, they provide some fumes. Uh, so they use biology to take those fumes and to make other new products. It was kind of an essay competition, it was voluntary. We told the students who were interested to write an essay to bring out really what were the science, how they saw the science being applied in whichever industry they visited. We gave the students the option to write their essays either in Kenya Rwanda or in English. And out of that we were able to get winners for, from each of the industries for each level. That, those are the people we are going to be giving certificates today. But I want to first and foremost say all of them actually really worked hard. One student said, now I understand. I'm doing um, a science combination. I always thought I could only be a doctor. But now I realize I could actually be a chemist in an industry. Just what I can say to my young sister is that it's possible. When you want, when you believe in you, you can go so far. Just work hard. A winner for the... 2019 Women in Science Rising Star Award is Alice Ikuzwe. Today I received an award as a rising star. First of all, it's good to acknowledge the effort, especially women that are putting in science. And it's also an encouragement to continue and to improve our works. So to me, this award is going to help me to improve my research and also the confidence I have in my work. The winner of the 2019 Women in Science Science Leadership Award is Dr. Kati Kratengwa. And the third and final award is the Research Award. And the winner of the 2019 Research Award is Dr. Karemera Noela Josiano Mohozi. Awarding women in science is only one of the many initiatives that are being championed to foster more women participation in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, STEM. We're not working hard enough to find women 
we're not working hard enough to retain women. Our objective is to award women who are doing excellent things in science, to give people role models for what that looks like, and to encourage universities, colleges, commissions, uh, people, GIZ, development partners, the FAO, those who are supporting these kind of initiatives to be very systematic. All this that you see happening in different places is made possible by people who are willing to commit. Commit their time, commit their resources, uh, commit their expertise to make some of these things happen. And we would like to expand this uh, to even more activities, to, to reach more people. Uh, but it will only be possible if we can secure more long-term partnerships. My, my call to people from organizations who are here today is if you could get your organizations to do something for STEM, to create a possibility for the next, the next engineer, the next Einstein, you'd be surprised at, at what they would be uh, capable of doing.